For this video, you're learning about cylinders and how to find the volume and the surface area. First thing we're going to talk about is parts of a cylinder. A cylinder is created by two circles and a rectangle. So here's a circle, here's a circle, here's a rectangle. If you had these on a piece of paper and cut them out and folded them up, it would create a cylinder. Parts of a cylinder. You need to know the base faces. Those are, in this case, these are the two circles in the figure. You've got a top base and a bottom base. Now, a cylinder's not always straight up and down. It could be on its side. The circles will always be the base faces. The lateral face is the rectangle that connects the two circles. And there you go. That's the base faces and the lateral faces. Parts of a cylinder. You need to know the radius, which is the edge to the center of the circle. And that's the radius. And then you also need to know the height. The height is the distance between the two bases. There you go. So once you know those, you're able to figure out volume and surface area. To figure out the volume, the volume is the amount of space that a cylinder occupies. It's how much a cylinder can hold. The formula for volume is pi r squared h. r being the radius, h being the height. They give you both of those items in the picture. You just plug in the numbers. You substitute in. When you're typing this in your calculator, make sure you do the 5 to the second power first. You'll type in 5 times 5 times 3.14 times 18, and you get 1,413 centimeters cubed. And there you go. Pretty easy. This one's pretty easy. You just got to type in and multiply. So for this one, it's a little bit different. It's on its side, not a big deal. You're going to find the volume, pi r squared h. Pause the video, see if you can figure it out on your own. Okay, so if you've paused, hopefully you've done it. You plug in your numbers, and you do your 4 to the second first, and then you do times 3.14 times 15. You should get 753 and 6 tenths inches cubed. Your units are always cubed for volume because you're trying to figure out how many cubic units, how many little inch by inch by inch cubes fit into that cylinder. Surface area. We've got some measurements. We've got our radius and height. We've got everything we need to know. We just need to know the formula for surface area. Surface area is taking the area of the two circles and adding it to the lateral area, which is the rectangle. So surface area is 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. So the first part of this formula takes care of the two circles. If you remember from previous years, pi r squared is the area of a circle, and we're doubling it since there's two circles. The 2 pi r h takes care of the rectangle. That's the lateral area. Sometimes you'll get word problems when they're asking about something like soup cans, and they're talking about the paper to cover the can that goes around. They're basically asking for the lateral area. So what you do is you set it up, you plug in your numbers, you plug in 5 for your radius, 18 for your height. In the first part, make sure you do your 5 to the second first, and then multiply by 2 and by 3.14. For the second part, you can go 2 times 3.14 times 5 times 18. You get your answers, then you add them up. Make sure you're writing out your problems as you're working them out. Don't try to do it all on the calculator. You won't get it right. All right, so there's your surface area, 722 and 2 tenths centimeters squared. Square centimeters because they're, they're tr you're trying to figure out how many little centimeter by centimeter squares could you cover this cylinder in. So here's another problem. It's tilted on its side, not a big deal. You still have a circle, two circles, and you still have all the measurements you need. So here's the formula. Pause the video, see if you can figure it out. So if you've paused and you're back, you'd plug in the numbers, 4 for your radius, 15 for your height. 
you do your 4 times 4 times 2 times 3.14 to get the first part. And then you type in 2 times 3.14 times 4 times 15 to get the second part. So that 376.8 is your lateral area, and then the 148 hundredths is your circles. You add those together, and you get 477 and 28 hundredths. And that is it. Hope this helps for the homework.